All right, I'm going to show you uh, how the tuning works on the Radio Uno. When you first build this and put it together, you'll think the tuning has gone crazy. It takes a little bit getting used to. So um, I'm going to show you how it works. The tuning range is about, on the tuning dial here, the tuning range is about uh, 50 kilohertz. But when you get to the end of the band, it will automatically give you an additional 10 kilohertz steps. So if you want to, okay, so let me demonstrate this. Let's try to go down to uh, 7100. You're going to notice the tuning dial here will not go down to 7100. But as I get to the end, as I get to the end of the tuning dial, uh, you'll start seeing the Radio Uno start automatically counting down. Once it counts down to the approximate frequency you want, you turn the tuning knob back to the right, and that will stop it from counting down. And then that will give you 50 kilohertz of range in that portion. So let's try it. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go down. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. Now, to stop it, you notice it was counting down, and to stop it, I turned the knob back to the right. So I'm at 70, 90. Now I should be able to tune in 7,100. So if I tune... Okay, guys, I want to show you a little trick I found on the Internet. Uh, this was actually uh, done by uh, KE0OG. And it's a really neat uh, hack. Uh, if you're tired of, and if you don't like the VFO running away when you get to the end, there's something you can do about it, which I think makes it uh, really a, a much nicer. So, you notice normally on the uh, Radio Uno, when you turn it dial all the way to one end, when you turn it dial all the way to one end, it starts automatically going up. Well, you can see here, I'm at the end, and it didn't automatically go up. And what I did, like uh, KE0OG -E did, was I put two switches, two push-button switches here, and they connect to the tuning pot. And when I get to the end, I can press the up button here, and you can see the frequency steps up. It's like, uh, what's that, 100, let's see, 50K uh, each time. And, you, of course, you can tune. And, you know, we can, let's, okay, I'm at the bottom. See, it's not, it's not uh, automatically surfing. So I'm at the bottom. I press the bottom button. And you can cycle it down. Back again. So you don't run into the problem where when you reach the top, it goes wild and you lose your frequency. So let's say we wanted to go up to 7300. We just, we're at the end of the dial here. We just hit the up button a few times. And you're going to see it's going to go right up there. Each time I hit it, it uh, jumps up to 50 kilohertz. Now, to go down, you're going to have to go all the way to the other end. You can see it tunes, but you go all the way to the end, hit the down button, and then it will cycle down. You can come across. If you need to go a little higher, go to the end, click the up button. And you've got, the two, you've got your 50 KC tuning range again. So I think that's a, just a great hack that uh, K0G uh, was able to do. Now, you have to experiment with resistors. But I, I, uh, I used a uh, 47 ohm resistor. And I used a, um, let's see, what did I use? 47K and a two, 200, I used a 47 ohm. And I used a 270 ohm uh, and two push button switches. That's all it takes to do this mod.